Alright, so uh, welcome to Good Game Mondays, I believe it's number 19, and we'll uh, take a look at Battletoad, so let's do it. Oh, and it's not working, and there it goes. So this was like one of the first Rare games, uh, released in 1991, published by Trade West. I don't even know if those guys still exist today, but... Uh, they made a shitload of games back in the day that were pretty awesome as well. Actually, not everybody knows this. If you put your controller in, contr in player 2's port, you get the coolest battle toad, the orange one, aka Zit. My Nintendo is awesome. Let's try to do this again. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, let's hope that it survives. So yeah, anyways, uh, the story is your girlfriend gets um, kidnapped and you have to go after her. Pretty much like every other video game. Alright, we actually got to the first level. So this is why this game is awesome. It's pretty hard. So it's got that classic NES difficulty feel, like a Contra or something. But it's also one of the best 2D side-scrolling fighting games I've ever played. Beat him up, I guess you could say. It's more of a beat him up than a fighter. And you, you got so much shit to do in this game, so many different enemies, you get to race around with a cart, you, the second level you go down a tube on a rope. No, don't, never mind those stupid flies. What? Yeah. No, don't pick that up, just kill him. Uh, like, look at this. Oh, I, oh yeah, I did get it on him. Look, what other game could you do that on? None. Like, I'm on a little dragon shooting at people. It's crazy. Now look at this boss. Again, it, it, it's just so varied for a Nintendo game. It, it, this, this game was way ahead of its time. It's like a Super Nintendo game. With all the stuff you can do, it's crazy. And there was a Super Nintendo game for Battletoads that was pretty good as well. So, uh, if you get the standard three hits, they die. And now we are off to the second level. Oh! And there you go, there you have it. Second level completed. Man, my Nintendo... Yeah, it's doing good. It's, it's chugging along, it's chugging along. So yeah, this game just pretty much lives up to the legendary difficulty set back in the day of the Nintendo games such as uh, Contra and all those good titles. Contra was an awesome game, it was just fucking impossible and 
This one is as well. I've been playing it since I've been a little kid and I still can't beat it. Like seriously. I don't I'm not even sure if I ever made it to the last boss. Um I got to a place where you had to chase a rat down uh, some platforms. The platforms move around so it's it's it the platforms get in your way. It's kind of like going down a maze but it's going downwards. So you have to go you move down and to get to some uh, TNT before your enemy does where almost fell down there. Where is a French expression? So uh, I'm sorry if any of you are like, what? What the fuck did he just say there? Anyways, and this is probably one of the most epic parts, and I, a lot of my friends can't even get past this section of the game. It actually is quite hard, but it's pretty easy right now. It gets harder. But like I said, I never beat this game yet, and uh, I don't think I ever will. It's it, it is that hard to beat, and I use I use level warps. I know there's a level warp in level one that I did not use. That warps straight to level three right off the bat. You 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 kill the two guys at the beginning, boom, third level. Just have to kill them really fast because that warp disappears. But uh, there's a warp in this level that I'm gonna use for sure. I'm calling it right now. It's at the last section, at the fastest section. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, you know what? It's because I need total, total concentration. So let's just enjoy, shall we? <laughs> I, I, I can't really believe I did that, man. Like, I suck. <laughs> That middle wall is tricky. And now here is the last section, the fastest part. Fifth wall on the bottom. Three, four, five. Boom! Mega warp advance two levels. So I'm pretty sure they all advance two levels. And uh, this level, look at this. Surfing. Like what in the fuck is this? T and C surf designs did surfing gayer than Battletoads did. I, don't get me started on that game, okay? I know a lot of people like it, and I got ragged on for hating on it, but dude, the skateboarding is the only good part about that game. Only good part. The surfing's broken. You, you, seriously, I bet that the developers don't even know what the hell they're supposed to do in that game. I don't see how they can know. Anyways. Ah, Ziff. Those uh, space invaders got me that time. But you see, I, I the game the game speaks for itself. Really, I don't even need to say much about it. And just looking at it, you're like, that game looks like the shit. Oh, jeez. Okay, no. Get these things. No, no. You motherfucking flies. Now I'm just gonna juggle this guy. Just juggle him, he can't even touch the ground right now. And uh, let's call that uh, Good Game Mondays number... I'm pretty sure it's 19 or 18, it's something like that, uh, and I'll see you next time.